Okay, it's gonna be okay! Re-entry systems ready. Wait, 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 no, no! This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Oh, this ain't no. what you want. Oh. What is going on? Hey guys, welcome back to Movie Reviews. Um, as you can see, I'm in a different location. This is actually my new dorm for uh, college. So, um, today, I am reviewing the newly released DC movie, Blue Beetle. Um, starring as Jaime Reyes, or Blue Beetle, we have Zolo Manduena. He was in a Cobra Kai. Um, as his uncle Rudy, we have George Lopez. This is the first time I've seen him in a movie in quite a while. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's been in something that I just haven't noticed lately. And, um... As Jenny Cord, we have Bruna Masquenzina, and uh, yeah, so this movie, it technically takes place in James Gunn's new DCE universe, or just DCU, after what happened in The Flash, when the universes kind of got all messed up and changed, so the movie starts off with um, Cord Industries, who is being run by uh, Victoria Cord, who they are searching the Arctic for s something called the Scarab, and they successfully find it. And meanwhile, as this is happening, we have Jaime Reyes returning back to his back to his home city of Palmera City from college. And when he gets there, he finds out that his family is in very much financial trouble. They're about to lose their house, and um, because of this. Um, Jaime and his sister, they get jobs at working basically as, um, like, working, basically working, like, as, um, housemaids for, um, Victoria Cord in order to basically make ends meet. Um, they do this, and while they're working, Jaime, he sees that Jenny Cord, Victoria's niece, they are fighting. Jaime gets, gets intervened, which costs both him and his sister their jobs. But Jenny promises to give him a job if, she, if he goes to Court Industries tomorrow. So he does the next day. He goes in. And Jenny, she actually steals the scarab and puts it in a um, burger box, a takeout burger box. She leaves. She gives it to Jaime and tells him to not give it to anyone so and not to open it. Jenny? Garth, I put your life, but do not open it. So he gets home, his family goes him into opening it, it op he opens it, and the scarab, it attaches itself into him and actually goes inside of him, and he transforms into the blue beetle, and causes all kinds of mayhem. How did you get it to do that? I think he likes me. It's on your back! Get it off! Get it off! Herman. So he um, goes, goes, gets back down. He to Earth, or not to Earth, but he wakes up and then he goes immediately to Jane to figure out what is happening to him. She um, she is actually now on, on the run from her aunt because she stole the scarab. They go hide at. Um, Jaime's house, and she explains what the scarab is, and she and he learns, and she tells Jaime that the scarab is bonding with him, and that it shows him as its host, and that she then takes him and Uncle Rudy to um, her father's house, Ted Court's house, and where she reveals that he was the Blue Beetle, which is a hero that um, Uncle Rudy actually very much likes. He is a very big fan of, of Blue Beetle, although not a very much of a fan of Batman. He's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. And, um, yeah, so, um, that's where, and it's also there where 
Jaime, he, they find out that Jaime cannot actually get rid of the scarab unless he dies. Basically, the scarab is meant to protect its host, with eyes, which it's basically Jaime is the host. So while this is going on, um, Corn Industries, they attack the Reyes house, they set it on fire, and they attempt to arrest um, Jaime's family. Jaime, he springs into action and tries to save them, but in the process, the house gets on, catches on fire, and Jaime's father dies. And Jaime is also captured and taken to Victoria to have the scarab extracted from him. And with this, um, Jenny, Uncle Rudy, Jaime's sister and mom, and and grandma, who is one badass grandma, they all use um, Blue Beetle's um, Ted Cords, like gadgets and other things, to try to rescue him. They go in, uh, or they go with a ship to rescue him. Um, as this, as um, Jaime's. The scarab is being extracted from Jaime into um, one of Cord Industries' um, main guards, who um, who's trying to uh, who's trying to basically become somewhat of a cyborg with the scarab, with the, which is basically a brand new kind of like armor fighter that um, Cord Industries is making. As this is going on, um, Jaime he sees in his subconsciousness he sees his father telling him that he that he is meant to be Lou Beetle and finally that's when they scare him and and um, Jaime they truly link together they are one and they fight they, they attempt to escape as Jaime's family and Jenny they they blow up the island or they set off many explosives around the island Jaime he escapes and he fights off the um, the bodyguard whose name is uh, Carbox, who who is actually is a, who is basically the first of the Omads, which is a new like bio warrior, not bio warrior, but like cybernetic warrior that Court Industries is making, as I explained. Um, who so basically Blue Beetle and Carbox they fight, and just as Jaime is actually wanting to kill um, the Omac, the Scarabs stops him saying that he's not a killer and that actually through the um through the mental like trip the transfer of the scarab into the omac um the scarab saw like that carvox's past is very much messed up and that he does not deserve to die and upon sparing Carbox, he then goes and kills Victoria Cord due to everything that she did, has done to him. And he also kills himself and destroys the island. Um, Blue Beetle, he escapes along with his family. And Jenny becomes in charge of Cord Industries. And um, it's assumed that him and that Jenny and Jaime, they are now a thing as um, Jaime and his family and the rest of the neighborhood, they begin to support and rebuild their home. And yeah, that's pretty much the uh, the movie, with the exception of the mid credit scenes, when it's turned out turns out that um, in um, Ted Cord's like lab and hideout, um, we there is a transmission that that appears to be that Ted Cord is alive, not dead, as it's as it was assumed that Jenny thought he was dead after he went he went away and never came back, but turns out it seems like he's alive. So that's pretty much the plot of this movie. All in all, I didn't really have too high expectations for this movie since I'd really never heard of Blue Beetle before this. But all in all, I have to say, this movie was pretty good. Like, you know, it wasn't the best movie I've ever seen, but it was fairly good and entertaining and also fairly funny at times. Although the movie's marketing really did not help, and that's also why the, um, the overall just amount of the box office is really poor for this movie right now and as well the director pretty much seeming happy that he upset a lot of DC fans with um with, with just some of his actions that also didn't really help it but yeah um despite all the drama you really should go see this movie it's not a, it's a pretty good movie honestly I probably would give it about a B you know go see the movie if you like it and uh yeah so what's
So if y'all like this video, like, share, and subscribe, and tell me what you guys thought about Blue Beetle. Did you see it? Did you not see it? Did you like it or not? If you like, if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye. It's over. The universe has sent you a gift, and you have to figure out what you're gonna do with it. That's my heart. One, two, three, four, five, five.